now i am going to solve this problem to four so in this problem it is said that this vertical force acts downward at a on the two membered frame so we are asked to determine the magnitudes of the two components of force f directed along the axis of a b and a c right so it is said that the force has two components along these two uh, frame members right so we are asked to find the components of this force along AB and AC. So if this force has two components along AB and AC, so this means that this F will be the resultant of those two components, right? So let's suppose if I draw those vectors, let's suppose. So this will be the component of F and this AB. Let's suppose if I write that this is F A B and this will be the component of F along AC. Now if I draw the free body diagram, let's suppose if these are the two axes, right? This is the horizontal line and this is in the this is the negative x axis and this is negative y, right? So let's suppose if if this is F A B, let's suppose if if this is that force F which is vertically acting downward let's suppose if this is that F the resultant of these two components right and let's suppose that this is that F A B so by head to tail rule this should be the F A C Right, and this will be that point A, and this will be that point B, and this will be that point C. Right, so if these two forces are the components of this force, so then these two components should add up to give this force as a resultant, right? So, in other words, this means that this force is the resultant of these two components, right? So, now from here we know that this force AB is making 45 degrees with the y axis, right, with the vertical, right? So, this means that this angle is 45 right and this angle is given as well this is 30 degrees right so this means that this is 30 right so if I draw a horizontal line here as well so if this is 45 so then this is also 45 degrees since this this whole angle is 90 degrees so if this is 45 so then this is also 45 right and if this is 30 degrees so this is also 30 degrees these two angles are alternate angle these two angles are alternate angles and these two angles are alternate angles so now we know the angle between these two uh, components right so this whole angle is this whole angle is the summation of this let's suppose that this angle is alpha so alpha is 45 plus 30 degrees right so this alpha is 75 degrees. Now as we can see that this force is vertical so it is making 90 degree here right. So this angle is 90 degrees. Let me try it in red. So this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is 30 degrees. So then this angle is how much? So it will be 90 minus 30. So this angle is 60 degrees right. So now we know these three angles and we know the magnitude of this force which is 500 Newton right now we are asked to determine these components these forces along a b and forces along force along a c so let's suppose if i if i apply the science law so we will be able to find the force the component of force along a b so f a b divided by the sine of the opposite angle right so this is the opposite angle to f a b right so this will be sine of 60 degrees and this will be equal to the f force let me write that f and the opposite angle the sine of the opposite angle so this will be sine of alpha which is 75 degrees right so f a b will be equal to so the magnitude of force f is 500 so it will be 500 into sine of 60 degree divided by sine of 75 degrees so if i solve this so this will give us the component of force F along AB. 
now if if we apply again the sines law to find the fac component right so then we will write that fac divided by the sine of the opposite angle right so this is the opposite angle that is 45 degrees so i will write sine of 45 degrees and this will be equal to the force f divided by the opposite angle so this force f and the opposite angle is this alpha so i will write sine of 75 degrees so fac is equal to f is 500 sine of 45 degrees divided by sine of 75 degrees so this gives the component of force along ac so let me solve these two equations using calculator FAB comes out to be 448.3 newtons and FAC comes out to be 366.0 newtons right so this is the solution of this problem